What is up fellow Thomas Chefs, Ducky O'Brien here and welcome to my build for level 24 Nat Mushroom. So it took me a, a little bit of tweaking to increase the efficiency, I initially had 67% but I managed to increase it by using repeaters. So I'm gonna walk you through my build, also this is, this build meets the critic order by the way so that took me a while to figure out. And here's how I did it. There's a beach burger order coming in, and then one other food item, and then a critic order coming in after that. So basically, instead of making your build super fast, make it a little bit slow so that it doesn't meet the initial beach burger order. Instead, when the burger comes out, it's timed for the critic order, and then it's fast enough to catch up and make another one in time. I'm gonna show you that later. But here we go. So I'm gonna show you my build. Uh, the hot dog here is very simple. We got everything set to the initial time of 5 seconds for the dispenser. Hot dog comes out, the dumb arm picks it up, drops it onto the grill, which is set to power saving mode. Smart arm picks it up, drops it into the assembler, which is also set to power saving mode. We got the hot dog bun coming out, being dropped in. The dumb arm picks it up, drops it right here, and we're done. So there's a little bit of a difference here in that. Let's look at the order reader, alright? so. For the order reader, you have the hot dog bun coming out once, the raw hot dog coming out once, and then make sure that the grill and the assembler are set to on while order is pending, and that will save a lot of power usage and increase your efficiency rating. Now let's look at the chicken salad. We got the lettuce, and we got the carrots also set to 5 seconds coming out into this belt being shredded, and we have a tomato coming out. And then being shredded again, the carrot and the lettuce have to be shredded twice, so please keep that in mind. And we got the chicken here, also set to 5 seconds, gets loaded onto the grill, which is set to power saving mode. Gets loaded onto the conveyor belt by the smart arm, also gets shredded here. The dumb arm picks up everything, drops it off into the advanced assembler, which is also set to power saving mode. And then when the order is done, it gets dropped off to this high speed belt and put into there. Now let's look at the order reader. So basically, uh, what you do is you prioritize things that need to be on while order is pending on the order reader. So here's what I have here. I have the electric grill set to on while order is pending, the events assembler on while order is pending, and then I turn the repeater on for 5 seconds, and then I perform the lettuce twice. And let's look at the repeater here. It's just simply on when input is on. So again, huge shout out, uh, I'm gonna have his YouTube username in the description below. It basically described to me how to use the repeater. And simply, if the dispenser base time is 5 seconds, simply turn on the repeater for 5 seconds and then it will dispense the ingredient one time. So this is highly efficient, you're just turning off everything, the repeater doesn't use that much power, so adding one is isn't really a big deal considering how much power you save by turning off the grill and the advanced assembler. Now let's get to the beach burger. We got a regular dispenser set at 5 seconds. We got a mushroom here being shredded. Gets loaded onto the grill which is set to normal. This is important. The beach burger has to be uh, fast enough so do not set this to power saving mode. The smart arm picks up the grilled mushrooms and the grilled patties. Puts it on here. The tomato gets sliced in 5 seconds. We got a bun coming out here, gets loaded into the assembler, which is set to high speed. Alright, this is important. And then gets dropped off here onto the conveyor belt fast. Again, this is also important. Please keep that in mind. And let's give it a go. So, as you can see, everything's off. This is beautiful. It's really efficient. Everything's off while there are no orders coming in. You save so much power usage by this. Now I don't know how to tweak this beyond this level to get higher efficiency ratings. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that for a long time later. But anyways, this meets the critic order by the way, which I am completely proud of. I discovered it by mistake. <laughs> a little bit of ingenuity by mistake. So again, as you can see, it's, nothing is on when there's no order pending. I'm assuming you can connect the repeater to the arms as well. Um, 
to see if even more power. But I think you're going to need to take a drastic step to make it hit 100%. I'm eventually going to try to aim for 100% for every level, but this one I have no idea how to tweak it further. Alright. I'll show you guys what why it works for the critic order. It's hilarious. I thought optimizing for speed was going to be the answer. That is not the answer. You actually need your production line to be a little bit slower. <laughs> Less efficient. Okay, so here you have the regular order coming in. It's too slow. It's not going to meet it in time. Bam, critic order comes in. That order comes in right there. Now this has to be fast enough to catch up for this, which it barely does. So again, I made everything slow enough, but a little bit quick enough to produce two. So that's why I have the fast conveyor belt here and the assembler set to high speed. These are two key elements to get that order done, the critic order. After that, it's pretty much running on autopilot. The reason why I have everything set to slow here, power saving for these two production lines for the the chicken salad and the hot dog is that there are very few orders relative to the beach burger and they're not back to back uh, even if they are it's still fast enough to meet those orders so nothing to worry about there you save a lot of power uh, nothing you really lose out on to the end. Again, huge thank you to the commenter. I forgot his exact name, but I'm going to look it up and put it in the description. Huge props. It was, he was a huge help. There you have it, folks. We met 50 orders. Power usage was less than 4,500 watt hours and use fewer than 240 ingredients as you can see we use about a thousand less using repeaters helps a lot but there you have it folks 77 percent efficiency rating i hope this helps you guys and thank you so much for dropping by i really do appreciate it if you have any questions comments or things you'd like to see please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always catch you guys next time